Good evening to you all. This is my demonstration of how to make a butterfly fly. To do this, first of all, you need to go out and buy yourself one of these. It's called an Amiga 1200. Very cheap second hand nowadays, about the size of a PC keyboard, no big box, no separate monitor, plug this straight into your video and away you go. Of course it needs a program and this is the program. Deluxe Paint. D-Paint 5. You can get the other version, D-Paint 4 of course. They all do much the same thing. And with these two you can do some remarkable things. Let me continue with the demonstration. First choose a body colour, draw a body outline and fill it in. Then do the same for a wing. Squirt on a few extra colours. Make a copy. Flip it over and paste on the other side. As you see, I'm no artist, so I shall import a picture. That's much easier. I need to cut off a wing and save it. Then cut round the body as this bit isn't going to move. I clear the screen, stamp down the body and create a number of frames. In this instance, 12. I now have 12 identical body frames onto which I can put the first wing. Now for the technically minded, let me try and explain what happens next. Imagine my fingers are the coordinates of a graph. This is the y-axis, this the x-axis and this the z-axis. Now you can move an image across the screen on the x-axis up and down on the y-axis, or in and out, which makes it bigger and smaller, on the z-axis. You can also rotate it around an axis. In this instance, we'll rotate it around the x-axis. Having drawn the 12 far wings, I'll now draw the near wings. Lo and behold, we have a hover butterfly. Now I can pick this up as an anim brush. It's like having a fluttering butterfly in your hand. I now create a new set of frames, 50 this time, and drag the poor fluttering butterfly across the screen. Play this and the butterfly flies across. Still not too interesting. So I shall import a picture and hey presto, a butterfly in a garden. So there you have it, that's how to make a butterfly fly. The trouble is, how do I keep these things out of my room now? Bye.